Yes, we absolutely do need them because I can't think of another example on this planet where you can't have enough brake. I don't care if you're talking about an automobile, an airplane, a skateboard, whatever it is. On this planet, when you're talking about performance products, there's no such thing as, a, as too much brake. Um, so when you talk about performance brake technology, there's no reason that we can't transfer that to certainly the road side of things. Now, obviously, there's some hurdles to do it, to get it lightweight enough, to get it uh, effective enough for quick wheel changes, to get it UCI legal. These are hurdles that we're certain we, the bicycle industry, will certainly overcome in the next couple of years. And when all of those hurdles are, are overcome, you're going to see that product uh, everywhere. The way people are riding their bikes these days, uh, I think the consistency, uh, the power, making sure they can ride the bike in all weather conditions, I think it's just going to be a great advantage for people. And once you try it, you'll adopt it. If I had a chance to have any influence on it, I would have done it. it also, starting with the mountain bike, it's just an issue of, of safety. So it's not about the brake forces or something like this, it's just safety. And now no one would ever buy a mountain bike coming with a V-brake anymore except at a certain price level, but this is definitely the future. We built a standard frame with a standard group set coming from uh, SRAM in size 55 centimeters with only 6.3 kilograms, which is still below the UCI level, which is allowed, so there's no problem anymore. There's no reason to say, no, it's too heavy. Uh, there's always an ev overheating issue with carbon fiber rims and caliber brakes. Uh, if you are, uh, if you, you, you are using the brakes long time on a long descent, so you, you can get in trouble and that uh, will be completely different with uh, disc brakes. You won't have this issue anymore. So that's one of the main reasons. And a much, much better brake performance. You will be always safe. And that's if you are, uh, try to brake with a carbon, with a standard caliber brake on carbon fiber rims under wet conditions, uh, it, it will cause problems in, in the first moment and it won't happen with disc brakes. I think it's twofold and it's, it's early days at the moment but obviously if we remove the braking from up at this end of the bicycle it allows our engineers to work closer on this beam and bring in more comfort, more compliance to the rider. We also have the, the proven advantage of disc brake every other wheeled sport uses discs to stop so it's a natural evolution to bring that into cycling there's a huge amount of mountain bikers out there that have grown up with disc brakes and to them that is what stops a bicycle so there is a, a harmony of those riders that that's what they want to see and that's what we're delivering for them and it's our engineers working hard making sure the bikes are capable of taking those loads and as we progress further more and more advantages are, are sure to shine now I don't think that the um, that the, that the disc brake will over will induce an overload on the frame, so the, the brake forces are very small due that it's very easy to block any of the wheels, either the rear anyway, but the front too. Um, now it's uh, just getting structures not necessary anymore out of the whole frame. For example, we remove this uh, bar right here, this stabilizer bar, and this even gives us the chance to get a more flexible rear triangle from, for all forces from coming from the ground. Until now, disc brakes are not allowed to use, it, uh, to use in, in, in road races, uh, only in cyclocross races, but um, with Shimano DI2 hydraulic disc brakes and SRAM with hydraulic disc brakes, mechanical shifting, it will open the door wide for, for, for disc brakes. So you will have a, um, a big advantage in, in terms of safety and um, brake performance with disc brakes. Maybe one day, I think, you know, definitely you see it already in, in cross. Uh, we know that the road wall is a little bit more conservative. We've seen pros using hydraulic rim already over the summer and doing the Tour de France, and the ones that have actually used it don't want to go back. So I think disc, disc is coming, for sure. A good, for example, a Shimano caliper brake, if you want to at any point in time, if you hit it hard enough, you can lock up and skid out of the front of the rear wheel. Caliper brakes are really, really good in some circumstances. The magic with disc brakes is that they don't fade like a caliper brake is gonna. So the whole idea that there's gonna be this disparity in braking performance between the haves and the have-nots, I think that's way out of proportion. I think professional racers are so good at their jobs that they're going to be able to differentiate the two types of brakes and 
really not have any of those safety issues we're concerned with. But really, the future of road cycling is going to be disc. Eventually, everyone's going to be using it.